Um, and I guess I'll just. Let's see. Well, it's a little problem getting them handled. I guess if I can make it less of a problem. So, multi-layer main logic board PC B schematic. This is for the Osborne one. Okay, and it says release to manufacturing. I uh, see. Issued George Waldron. I remember him. He was sort of the number two or number three engineer hired up by uh, Ed Richter, who was the VP for engineering uh, after I gave it up. Um, so here we have the uh, clock oscillator, which is initially 16 megahertz and now is 15.9744 megahertz. Um, the reset circuit, a little two gate, two two inverter flip flop with a, a, a SPDT switch and uh, the reset uh, pulse generator. Mm -hmm. We have a divider that divides down. First, it sends out the 16 megahertz clock, divides it by two to get the dot clock for the videos, or clocking at eight megahertz. Now we've got the CPU clock at 4 megahertz, the memory clock at 2 megahertz, and the character clock at 1 megahertz. Mm -hmm. Very nice and simple. One synchronous uh, counter. Over here we've got interrupt logic. IRQ0, IRQ2, and I'm probably IRQ1. Coming in and ORing together, basically, to get to the interrupt. And then they are in identified by data bits that are uh, enabled onto data bits 0, 1, 2, and 3 by the interrupt, ACE, interrupt acknowledge mm -hmm. signal. Mm -hmm. And then we have some power input and the battery connector has some diodes that are there for to block uh, current coming in the reverse direction. Okay. Um, Page two. Here's the clock driver. There's two transistors, Q1 and Q2. Uh, it takes the CPU clock and simply drives it with enough force uh, to keep the uh, get the levels that get to the levels that require for a Z80 CPU, mm -hmm. and ideally do it without overshooting, um, without much overshooting. Well, hold on, I'm going to turn 